I went and saw Bob Dylan in concert. You know? wow. And he's, he just has complete contempt for the audience. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and you can't even understand the fucking song. <laughs> but uh, Ringo Starr was in the audience. Uh huh. So Dylan, like, recognizes him, like, halfway through the concert. Yeah. He just stops the song and he goes, Ringo! <laughs> Ringo! He just keeps saying Ringo. He said it about nine times, right? So finally, like, a spotlight goes on Ringo Starr. Yeah. And he's all embarrassed and everything. He's like, Ringo, what's up? Like, he's not even on stage, you know? He's just talking to Ringo Starr. So, but everybody thinks it's pretty cool. Yeah. So it, anyways, finally, Dylan, like, snaps out of me. He goes, I got to go back and do this thing. He's called the thing. He goes, I got to go back and do this thing. He goes, any song you want to hear? <laughs> and then, like, Ringo Starr goes, uh, Maggie's Farm. And then he goes, we already did that one. <laughs> and everyone was fucking laughing, because you can't, literally can't recognize his song. Right. <laughs> but I understand what he's doing, because it's like, let's say you told a story to someone, mm -hmm. and then the guy said, hey, tell it to this other guy. Then you're going to change the story because uh, you're not going to say the exact same words. You feel like a jackass. Mm -hmm. So that's what Dylan seems to do in his art. Yeah. He goes, yeah, I'll do the song, but I'll change it all around, mess it up. See what it sounds like. Is that the same thing with comedy? Uh, well... Yeah, what I like to do is like I, I don't I never memorize anything, so I have the uh, I know what the joke is, and uh, all I know is the punchline, uh -huh. <clears throat> and then uh, up to there I just meander around till I get to the punchline. As long as you know where you're going, uh, you're free to uh, say whatever you want. Yeah, because you know there's an ending. And I'm just an old chunk of coal. And uh, I like Merle, so I, I was there for Merle, but um, I stayed for for Bob Dylan. And uh, he, he was kind of a. It was like you were saying he, he, you couldn't understand what songs he was singing. And uh, but anyways, halfway through the concert, all of a sudden, because he doesn't talk to the audience or something, all of a sudden he started talking to the audience. And he he said he said, uh, Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. <laughs> Ringo, ha, ah, Ringo, about 45 times. <laughs> so uh, everyone was sort of in shock. Yeah. And uh, yeah. finally, a, a light went into the audience, and it was Ringo Starr was sitting there <laughs> with some lady. And then he was, he's all uncomfortable. He's like, Ringo. So he said it about 12 more times. Did you meet him? <laughs> Bob Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I met him. What happened was, I was, I was going to finish my Ringo story. Oh, I'm sorry, Norm. That. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Ringo. Ringo. <laughs> so anyways, he said, Ringo, like a whole bunch of times. And then he said, uh, he said, uh, any, any, any songs you want to hear, Ringo? And then Ringo Starr said, I, I don't know. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, do you know any Bob Dylan songs? Do I? For this story? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, name one. Uh, Tangled Up in Blue. Yeah, so he said that. Uh, Ringo goes, well, how about Tangled Up in Blue? He goes, I already did that one. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't understand that he was doing yeah, Tangled I mean, Up in Blue. No one understood anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did, I did meet him. But I don't know him because uh, I'm, I'm in the country. I'm in the outlaw country. So, so I was.